Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Team of the Season Lewandowski card to review today. We just sold them because we just ended up finishing the review, but obviously I always give you guys the introduction of what I think a card may feel like before I even use him, right? So with Lewandowski, we're taking a look at a card that is six foot tall, high medium work rates, right footed, four star skimmels with a five star weak foot. Uh, we just finished selling him for 2.4 million coins. Uh, In-game player traits, he has the finesse shot traits as well as the outside foot shot trait in games he's got 92 acceleration with 93 sprint speed uh, with a card like this being as tall as he is uh, we do want to focus on giving him the engine chemistry style to boost his balance agility and dribbling as much as possible while giving him some extra pace and passing stats on the card while working with very good shooting stats too right so uh, with the improvements that you actually give the card He's going to have 97 acceleration with 98 sprint speed. Uh, dribbling will be improved with the balance being increased by a lot while working with the six foot tall height. Again, very, very important. His base card stats for shooting is very, very nice, which is very important for you to give him the engine chemistry style. 99 finishing with 96 shot power should be good to work with the 97 composure. Uh, long shots at a 92 will be uh, nice to work with certain shot angles, right? This card does, in fact, actually have both of the meta traits in regards to the finesse shot trait and the outside foot shot trait as well. So some good stuff there. Uh, with the engine chemistry style, we are also going to be improving the base card stats from his passing, which is obviously already very good with the engine chemistry style. A card like this, you could potentially actually use um, mostly as a striker or actually as a cam as well, because both of those traits in the cam position would actually work out really nicely uh, while potentially having a different striker up top it can definitely be a very very cool thing to work with especially if you have like the marco royce card with Lewandowski. like that could be a cool variable to work with there um with this card on 99 heading accuracy obviously very nice could be good for corners uh, and then last but not least he has 96 for strength while having 91 aggression to work with the pace that he has and the body type that he has because it is at a unique with a six foot tall height while having 85 stamina so with, obviously with the 85 stamina you want to mostly use him in this in the top position striker cam not really anywhere else right so uh, we're gonna get into some games here we're gonna see how he performs hopefully he is a beast Oh, crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I love how he already sees that space, and he's so explosive when it comes to getting into it. Jeez, man, his dribbling's actually nice with the engine. Hello. Oh, yeah. Oh, the finesse shot came off of the dribble a little bit. Ugh. Got to be careful of those bounces, man. They influence those shots. <laughs> he's kind of he's kind of flying across the pitch right now. I like it. Oh, and an absolute monster in the air too. Look at that. Good stuff, Lewandowski. Lovely finish. This is a it's a pretty cool team. It's not bad. It's not bad. I will say, guys, that his dribbling, considering his body type, is uh, is very, very solid, man. He feels cool. Oh, he's not on side, though. Not on side, but nice movement. I wish he went back on side quickly there. In that situation there, he actually made an aggressive run to the side, and then I... I actually like that, but I I want him just just to go back quicker, a little bit quicker there. And back with Lewandowski. Real chance. Dang, the game didn't even let me do that one little touch right there because the connection's a little bit off, and he still hits that like a freaking monster. Yeah, so the reason why uh, Lewandowski was pushing to the side positions there is because I forced him on the get in behind instruction to see how he would behave. Uh, now we're going to switch him to the balance instruction, which I hope is a little bit better in regards to going back into positions quickly. Because when you have get in behind on your players, they're a little bit more aggressive, so it takes them longer to get into positions if they don't have a certain base attacking AI, so...
Oh. He hits that with his five-star weak foot. Hey, eh? you see that? That was a crazy, accurately hit shot with his weak foot. Whew. I actually want to see the replay of this. Oh my goodness, that's such a low percentage strike there too. That's wild. Yeah, so by default he already starts to make that run, which is pretty cool. Yeah, he has this attacking AI where he's like really aggressive to push the side. So what I'm thinking, right, is what if I put stay central on him? I'm going to I'm going to see afterwards. Not even stay central like, yeah, I think stay central because if he does that and they contradict each other, it could be really good to be honest. Nice. That was a good dummy there. Oh, no shot. From those crosses, you literally have to, like, aim it in the middle and hope it doesn't go towards the goalkeeper. Like, I'm not joking. Like, I try to aim it to the sides because I'm like, you know, Lewandowski has crazy shots. But it's just a mechanic in this game where you have to aim it in the middle and hope it just, just doesn't hit any of the goalies. That was a good shot cancel there. His defensive AI came out of Narnia to block that ball there. So here's the thing, guys. It's not a bad thing to have that attacking AI that he has where he likes to push to the sides because if you see him making that run, make that pass. And if you have a good cam, like let's just say, for instance, you have like Coutinho as your cam. If you make that pass, your cam will make that middle run immediately, right? So we're going to experiment with that. <laughs> you see how he already starts to do it? <laughs> God, he adapts to my dribbles right there. It's actually awesome. Look at how he keeps going to the sides, man. This is hilarious. Ooh, the bend of his body was dope right there. I like that. Yeah, you gotta be careful, man. Once you get one of that five star weak foot, jeez. I do want to change his instructions, though, guys. I definitely want to do that for sure. Um, okay, so I have getting behind on him, so you can see it's a base characteristic of his to move to the side. So what I want to do now is put him on stay central, getting behind, right? And if stay central getting behind is a little bit too aggressive for my liking, I'm gonna put him on just stay central to see if it kind of works with that uh, left and right movement that he likes to do. Oh, there you go. Nice little ball roll touch, get into the right angles, hit a finesse shot. We move. Ooh, that animation! <laughs> okay, Lewandowski. We get it, bro. You got animations on you. Woo! I actually thought he was going to score from that angle. That would have been nuts. Oi, it's a foul, my guy. Don't be doing that. Now, here's the thing, right? Lewandowski do be having good free kicks, so... Oh, yeah, right on the line, eh? Not too bad. I want, to, I want to be able to take like that small little touch, but it's not really like coming off. Okay, guys. So for the second half, what we're going to do is we're going to play Alessandrini. Actually, no. I could do this. Alessandrini here. Fernandez in the middle. Lewandowski, we're going to take off, get in behind, and just have him on stay central. These guys on cut passing lanes. And then we'll put the tactics to pressure on heavy touch. Penalty. Nice. Let's go, Lewandowski. My boy, my boy. He probably has like 20, 99 penalties to be fair. 
Let me see what he actually has. 95? Okay. We'll take it! Oh, man. I shouldn't have done the Ronaldo chop. I should have just done a first-time fake shot behind. That movement was crazy. I'm liking him a lot on, on Stay Central, to be honest. So the one thing I forgot to put is that for Lewandowski, guys, I enjoy him on the Stay Central tactic because it kind of works really well with that base characteristic that he has. So making him stay in the middle as much as possible because of him not being a super agile player makes the most sense. Oh my, Ferdinand AI, Monsieur. <laughs> yeah, I mean, once you get that ball roll touch and you have the finesse shot trait, it's tough to kind of get it off him, you know? Oh, that touch was so weird from the tackle afterwards. Okay guys, so final verdict on the Team of the Season Lewandowski card. So with the engine chemistry style, definitely makes the most sense to give him that because of the six foot height that he has, as well as the unique body type. You want to be able to improve the balance, agility, and dribbling as much as possible for a card like this uh, because of the fact that he has a lot of things to work with, right? So because of his traits, having the finesse shot trait and the outside foot shot trait, it is very, very helpful to have for a card like Lewandowski. Uh, in a lot of situations, you can see when I was doing like the ball roll touch to get into that right-footed uh, finesse shot angle, he, he hits them pretty consistently, really accurately. His five-star weak foot is fantastic in regards to, you know, just shooting it across goal. That one near post strike was absolutely insane. Those are really, really low percentage strikes from those angles, but he just absolutely snipes it into the back of the net. Uh, his attacking AI is interesting, man. When I was using him, he likes to push to the sides a lot like constantly, right? So for me personally, because he's not the agile type in regards to having this like explosive characteristic about himself where he pushes to, pushes to the sides, but then immediately goes right back into the middle. For instance, that Hernandez card that recently came out, I love his attacking AI, just very, very explosive to get right back into the positions. Because Lewandowski doesn't have that specifically, I like him on the stay central instruction. Stay central or get in behind. I took off the get in behind at some point because with a card like this on stay central, it makes the most sense because he's very target man oriented, right? So he's going to make those really intelligent angled runs to work off of that base characteristic that he has from attacking AI to open up space for yourself. So with a card like Lewandowski, guys, do first time shots once you get into the 18 yard box in good areas and make sure you go for those first time fake shots to open up yourself for the finesse shots and the power strikes. It's definitely a really cool card. Um, it's funny though, because I will admit to this, just like the team of the year, I'm not personally like super crazy about Lewandowski. Obviously, if Andre Silva felt like this, I'd be absolutely mind blown because it's still a meta oriented card, which is fantastic. But he still has like this really weird thing to, about him, you know, like I still prefer to use players like Kylian Mbappe, uh, players like Ronaldo and stuff like not rare gold Ronaldo. Like you have to get to the team of the year for them to kind of like uh, to battle out it against each other. The rare golds nowadays, I'd rather use a team of the season Lewandowski, right? But five star skills. I say that, but five-star skills is always really nice to have. But regardless, guys, this card's definitely very good. Um, give him stay central if you guys end up getting him in a SPC pack or something. He's uh, he's pretty fun to use, man. He's pretty fun to use. But uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys. Andre Silva next.